What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another very late night in the brew lab with me, Lone Fox, your brewmaster in chief. And tonight in the brew lab, I'm coming at you with a fantastic mono black deck. Um, but before I jump into that, you may have noticed the background here is different. I finally made it to Italy. A couple of very long days on the uh, various airplanes and layovers in various airports. I am completely jet lagged, which is why it's now 5.30 in the morning. And I am able to look pretty decent in front of the camera uh, and record a fantastic brew tech for you guys. So um, without further ado, let's jump into this early morning brew <laughs> i um, took a leaf from matches malone max malone if you guys don't know who that is mtg malone go give him a follow he's amazing i love his stuff he's a, also a fantastic character um of course let him know the brew lab sent you uh in the comments he'd love that and so would i mm. but the the idea was to put as many sort of life gain cards in your mono black what is now kind of a bit more of an aggro slash mid-range deck uh, than a real control deck um, to mitigate all of the various um, boros burns and other aggro decks in the format and it's been amazing my win rate is sitting on upwards of 80 percent I'm, 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 I'm over 10 matches it's going really really well um, so those life gain cards are and there's many right we start off with your kiba where for each copy you play, you're gaining two life and the opponent's getting drained for two life. Um, but then the, the real nice thing is the backside gives vehicles you control menace. And I just find it so weird when people play this card and they don't have a single vehicle in the deck. I was even thinking of putting, instead of the Sorin, um, a copy of the Surge Hacker mech. But I ended up just thinking that the life gain from the vampire tokens and the card advantage was better. Um, but... Yeah, at least I've got a full place of the Reckoner Bankbuster, so then uh, we can give the Bankbuster Menace with uh, Nozumi Road Captain, which I love. But then other life gain cards, of course, you've got March of Wretched Sorrow. It's an amazing removal spell. Absolutely love this one. Um, can target creatures or planeswalkers. You can discard stuff from your hand or, you know, exile stuff from your hand to reduce the costing cost, then you can gain a lot of life with this card. Um, then we've got a couple of, uh, three copies of Infernal Grass, which is kind of an issue, um, but I think there's a couple of new cards that we can replace this with coming in the new set uh, because of course the life loss is a bit of a problem against aggro but we've got so much life gain um the meat of massacre is the other important one of course the graveyard trespassers attack trigger gains you life of course the graveyard glutton if it becomes nighttime you get two of those triggers you could potentially gain two life and drain for two with the glutton uh we've also got three copies of enrique don matthew which is the main sort of change in the deck the previous versions had sometimes two or one uh to fit space for more removal and more planeswalkers this time i've just gone with a full play uh, sorry three copies i wouldn't go for the full play set because she's legendary but and you don't want to like have an opening hand with two of these in it but three makes sure that you get one almost every game and against aggro she's fantastic um, not only can you sacrifice a creature and have them sacrifice a creature you know we've got a tenacious underdog that can just be recast by for its blitz cost uh, so then that's not a problem you can also draw some cards with it but the real thing is if, if you're against boris burn i usually just flip her straight away they've only got one card in the deck that can really take care of her other than the brutal cathar which is you know easy to then take care of ourselves um and then you get you know to do all of the, the things again which is quite nice sort of resets your your henrika but otherwise they just run one copy of um, valorous stance which can destroy a creature with toughness four or greater. Um, so they wait for you to transform her and then... Pull. But it's just the one copy. Most of the times they don't get, catch her. And then, you know, you can really stabilize against aggro if you've got a, a death touch flying lifelinker that can be pumped. So going with three of this time around. And we've got one Sorin, which makes the little life gain, uh, lifelink little vampires. And that's all the life gain in the deck. Then we've got plenty of card draw as well. We've got full place of the bank buster, which by the way, pretty much everything in the deck can accrue it, uh, except for the Nozumi Road Captain itself, which I think was a bit of a, mm, I think that would have been really nice if they'd made this have, like make it a three, two and make it uncommon. Then it would have been really, mm, but 
the underdog has three power the trespasser has three power of course the shakedown has more than three power the flipped Enrique Donati has three power so we can crew the bank buster with almost everything in the deck um, then we're drawing like I said with the bank buster shakedown heavy the plus one from Soren and of course full play set of invoke despair I saw these uh, extended arts or whatever they call this type of uh, treatment on the store and I just couldn't help myself I spent a little bit of my gold uh, on this uh, alternate art it's freaking fantastic and I'm glad I get to rock them in this deck uh, what else nothing really that I need to add more than that other than the fact that it is a fully rotation proof bruise we don't have any of the usual creature lands we're just rocking 17 of my beautiful Godzilla swamps two Takanumas two field of runes and three mech hangers to crew up our bank busters after a sweeper and that's the deck mono black version 3 life gainy slant very good against aggro of course now that i've built this deck uh, i basically never come across aggro ever again thanks to the fantastic matchmaker <laughs> but as usual at this point in my videos is when i like to do a tiny little bit of self-promotion so if you have not subscribed to the channel yet kindly consider doing so uh, we are well on our way to our 800 subscriber milestone at which point a giveaway is going to be triggered the lucky winners are going to go away with i believe 10 booster packs each uh, so subscribe 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 and of course if you could like the video leave a comment all that good stuff obviously really helps the channel out and uh, ooh, what else what else join the discord community Link in the description. Oh wow, I, I literally just played this deck. Like, I'm not about to run um, my Trespasser into a removal spell. Okay, now we've got a backup, so we can rock it. Not a removal spell, a counter spell. My apologies. He's probably got Valorous Stance. Okay. Some lands would be fantastic. just played this deck and I won on camera and my microphone was acting up I had to delete the recording I won but it's I mean the, the vast majority of this deck is disappearing thankfully uh, Goldspan Dragon Magma Opus the expressive iteration they're losing the vast majority of their pieces which is something that makes me very happy Case in point. I wonder if there'll be a Hinata pile that is still this good once they lose Magma Opus. I haven't seen any crazy like multiple target type of a, a brew. A card from the new spoilers that would really take advantage of, of that. There's a gold span, we may be able to deal with it with uh, our march. Lands are a bit of a problem right now. Here comes gold span. God, I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of this card. I don't think it's it's quite difficult for me to explain how much I'm sick of this card. He's going to have the uh, Magma Opus ready. Mm. 
No lands is terrible. Terrible, terrible. God. Ah. Is there anything worse? It's enough to drive anybody insane, this stuff. It's so much mana. Yeah, yeah, think away. I'm dead anyway. I should just scoop it up. Not only that, is it's going to flip back to daytime. On to the next one. Oh, double gold spanned. I just beat them. You'll have to believe me. <laughs> you can go look at my untapped profile. Two in a row, though. It's pretty strange. It's like, where's Boros? I think I've played like three matches against Boros in over 15 matches with this day. It's, it's, you know, and I built it specifically to play against Boros. And then if I switch to like one of my other decks, <clears throat> suddenly it's like three, four Boros games in a row. I think the matchmaker really needs some some work. We need a land, but then we're good. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Trespass is going to be good against the Shigeki deck. <laughs> I get the feeling that he's going to just hit me with a um, Binding of the Old Gods. So I'd rather play out the Trespasser, because then he has to discard something at least. Nice. Invoke Despair already. Same problem as the last game. Blowing my mind. The channel really should be called Stuck on Three Lands. It's like happens just way too often. I think I need to start playing 25 lands in my decks. It's the big takeaway. This is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Two games in a row. Stuck on three lands. On like turn six, opponent has all the lands. Uh, yeah. Are you supposed to win against that? I just don't understand. This is driving me insane. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> You can't win against this. It's not possible.
If I don't draw another land, I'm just going to scoop. Thank you. Ridiculous. It took us to get to 45 cards before we find anything useful. Of course, he's got the reanimation card. It's going to be Titan of Industries in this deck for sure. Golgari is sick. I love Golgari. Give me that fifth land. Of course not. Why would you? You can just attack. I am vengeance, bloody and righteous. This is insane. My this is insane. Is Four lands in the top, almost 20 cards of our library. You can't win when it's like that. It's impossible. Binding. Things have not gone my way. Holy <laughs> crap, man. Gain a little bit of life. One, three, four, eight, eleven to four. Just whatever, man. Seriously ridiculous. I honestly just don't know what to say anymore. It's gonna take the Henrika, maybe. Are you people kidding me? This is the most ridiculous thing that's ever happened. Like, I just honestly don't know what to say. We go down. Yeah, we, we've just lost the game. Just to see. Four, four, four cards, four lands in, in 20 cards. It's just insane. It's just insane. Like, that's when you know that the game just doesn't want you to win a single game. Unbelievable. First match, three lands. Second match, four lands. What the hell? How is that even possible? The chances of that are so slim that I just... Pff, I just don't know. I'm going to cut the Sauron and put in an extra... An extra land. Let's see if this makes any difference. Watch us flood now. Only lands for six turns in a row. <laughs> is really ruining my lovely win rate with the deck. I was on like 88 or something. That's a mulligan. Aha! Now we finally get some Boros action. <clears throat> Yay! Now he needs Valorous Stance or Brutal Cathar. Well, he can't deal with it.
Ooh, juicy. Other stance? Nope. At three, six. Eleven. And we win. <sighs> yes. That's how it's done. That's kind of the whole plan. This that was enemy number one for tonight, and that was kind of the plan uh, to have enough life gain to mitigate all their shenanigans. They didn't have the valorous stance. Very nice, very very nice. I love it how more and more people are letting you through with the damage with the um, shakedown heavy, and then they just sort of like, oh, oh whoops, I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> So two terrible losses, one decent win. Let's see if we can uh, turn the corner here with our additional land. Get a little bit more consistency out of the deck. <clears throat> donks. Hello, donks. That's not a bad hand either. No one drop. Maybe we'll top deck. Oh, wow. Mirror match, huh? May the best man win. And we've got um, Henrika Manor. This could be Malone's deck. Fill the ruin down. This is really the Malone deck. This is his version. Not the best choice I've seen you make, my friend. Despair could be a thing at this point. It's about the mana for it. I 
hope he activates the hive. Boop, boop, boop. Nah, he's got the march. my underdog unfortunately Comes the hive. <laughs> bye bye, little hivey. up the infernal grasp for whatever he may deploy. See, now we're flooding like crazy. Baby, baby. That's what I like to see. Yeah, this is definitely the Malone. He had this card in it. <laughs> okay, 50%. Two for two. How are we doing for time? Perfect. Definitely got another good couple of matches in me. Let's keep this win streak going. I love Mono Black right now. I never, uh, you know, it's funny how your, at least my, identity as a magic the gathering player it keeps changing kind of depending on the format uh when i first started playing arena back in you know before the spark and even before that i was uh mostly like a white control mage and then it's I've like kind of been flipsing around oh, such a good hand terrible um mana Ooh, will it be Boros once again? His face with a play with fire, no. Nah. I'm okay with that. I was a bit more worried about the ass pirate. Boros matchup number two. I'm going to try and hold up the Bankbuster as a blocker instead of attacking with it now. In case he comes down with something heavy. No one read cards these days.
Perfect. Just need one more land. Hopefully we'll draw one off of the bank buster. Come on, discard. he'll decide not to discard. Okay. Should have done that earlier and blocked with the... That's okay. We take two. But we also gained. down with the um, Thundering Raiju, we can just block. It's okay. But that land would be great, obviously, at this point. Though he'll probably go for the attack again. And then try and hit my Bank Buster with the Play With Fire that he's obviously got in hand so yeah I want I want um, bank pass is too important for some card draw opponent of course he can recast those from the graveyard with the adversary so let's get rid of that we're quite ahead on life so I'm okay attacking here Boros just doesn't seem to know how to not attack. So now he will attack with everything. Fairly certain of that. Okay, no. Finally. Have to block. Valorous stance. Otherwise, we just win outright.
4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, that makes me so happy. You guys have no idea. Finally, like actually ending up playing against a few of these piles um, with the deck that I built to beat them. So very happy with that. Seems like we've turned the corner. Three wins, two losses. Pity we had to suffer through those losses in the early game you know in the early part of the video um, but i think we have arrived at the final match of the night so let's try and end on a victory i think adding that land was pretty good a little bit maybe a little bit too much flooding not too much um card selection in black so you know when you flood you flood but we've got enough card draw it's been okay so i think we get the full set is spoiled tomorrow my plan is to do a massive final episode of spoiler talk with all of the remaining cards that i haven't talked about so stay tuned for that and uh well, that's very nice um, and then we'll um probably just start doing a little bit of theory crafting getting ready for the new cards and the fourth land is here for henrika I hope it's mono white aggro, honestly. Although there's still plenty of Skyclave apparitions which deal with even my Henrika, which I'm not too happy about. But we've got me to Quezo Tower. You got some mana problems, my friend, or what's going on here? No problems. Elite Spellbinder? Somebody still playing this stuff? Coming across it less and less. Ah. Mr. Brutal. I'm happy for you to discard because you don't... I have very much card advantage, and I would love a Meatook Massacre off the top sooner rather than later. Don't know if that was the right call there. Ass pirate enters the fray. Please give me that meat hook. Infernal Grasp now, please. Yeah, go up to 25 lands, this is what happens. I just, I can't find the sweet spot. It's driving me crazy. I'm using Frank Carsten's guide. lot of life gain. I'd rather wait to untap 
what we could have done is uh, dealt with the aspirant. Oof, that's painful, though. Oh, that's painful. How much is that going to be? 5, 10, 11 damage? Hmm. Me took. Come on. We have three in the deck. Come on. It's so all I need to turn this match around is a juicy me took. We've got plenty of mana. I cannot wait to see the back end of that stupid card. It's really driving me a little bit bonkers right now. Can't believe I was so into it when it first dropped. Me took, me took, me took. Come on. Ugh. I'm just getting a little bit too beefy right now. Plus the tax from the... Don't forget, if we kill, if we do one less, but we get rid of the adversary, then they all lose one more. And that'll wipe the board. We've got enough mana. Just not drawing the cards we need. Disgraceful. <laughs> I think we're dead. He just needs to attack with everything. That was terrible. That was just terrible. We drew everything but what we needed against this matchup. Unbelievable. Oh well, it's a pity. 3-3, three and 50% three, win rate overall. But um, it has arrived at the 45 minute mark, so I am going to have to call it a night. A couple of fun matches though. Most importantly, the deck that it, you know we built this one to beat Tikpon. We beat twice, so I'm very happy with at least that. Um, as far as this land situation, I honestly just don't know what to do. Uh, Sorin is just sick, right? But then we were bricking like crazy in two matches in a row. But personally, I would just still keep trying to run it at 23, uh, 24 lands. It's it's my sweet spot in this type of deck where we don't have any like anything bigger than a five drop and a lot of two and one drops. You know, <clears throat> the majority of our cards are, are here in the, in the one, two and three drop slot. So I think... 24 is fine um but yeah other than that no edits that need to be made if mono black just continues to be 
a freaking amazing and i think it will just continue to do so the <clears throat> spoilers have already shown us a couple of incredible new cards for this deck and i can't wait to jam them into one and try it out for you guys so that is going to be it for tonight's gameplay footage thank you all so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe uh and join the discord community i will see you all tomorrow with an episode of spoiler talk and a fresh fresh brew gonna try going back to a brewer day now that i'm away uh, you know i'm done with my holiday although it is my son's birthday and we're going to be celebrating his um you know three-year trip around the sun anniversary uh probably not too late because he's only three so it shouldn't be a problem i I'm, I'm really hoping to be able to jump in front of the camera for you guys again tomorrow um with a couple of videos i'm thinking rakdos aggro so stay tuned for that but uh until then this is Lone Fox from the Brew Lab, signing out. Peace, y'all.